Hello children. Yes, you all know that as it is a lockdown, we are working from home only. So it is a new setup. See children, today I am going to start the history lesson. But I plan to the geography lesson, but I need the uh, globe and world map for that. It is not possible in the house. So I started the history lesson only. That is Nayakas, Palagaras and Dana Prabhus. This lesson I am going to start today, children. See, for the first lesson, Vijayanagar Empire. By teaching that one, I said that the Asa kingdom was very big one. Kings divided the kingdoms into many parts. And for each part, they made one leader. The leader means chieftain they are called. Chieftain. So, that chieftains, they given all the power. Security of that uh, area, what they are doing for which they are leader, collecting the tax from the, that area, development of that area, like this, they given all the power to them. You can say they are the kings of that area. That much power was given to the, uh, the chieftains only. But the supreme power is the Vijayanagar kings only. Like that was the administration during Vijayanagar rules. But in the year 1965, what happened? Rutgers and the war. Do you remember this war between Aliya Ramrai and the Devai Deccan Sultanates? By, the, by this war only Vijayanagar glory was ended. Before knowing what this Nayaka and all, you must know this history children. Background of that one, so I am telling this. So, what happened? This, uh, when the Aliya Ramrai died in the Rutgers and the war, that time, in the south part, which Nayakas, which chieftains were ruling, they made security, secured their kingdom. They made this secure protection for their area which they are leader, for which they are leader, and declared themselves as a kings. Follow children. Huh? Because this is a very disastrous war. It ended the glory. Arabic and Marabitu dynasty, this Aliya uh, Ramrai's son, son was there. Achutaraya and Sivasivaraya, they ran away to Penukonda from there they started to leave. Still Vijayanagar kings were ruling. But the glory of the Vijayanagar was ended. Then Nayakas, who were chieftains in the Vijayanagar uh, kingdoms, they were started ruling as a kings. About them we are learning in this lesson. See, these chieftains, leaders you can say. That one, they are called by many names in different places. Some places they are called Nayakas. In some other place, Palagaras. In some other places, they are called as a Palagatu. Follow children. Like this, many kingdoms were there. These kingdoms are called as a Fedutari kingdoms. Fedutari kingdom. Why it is called Fedutari kingdoms? See children, these kings are, these Nayakas, who are rulers now, who are the called. Uh, started ruling as a kings, they are not from the royal family. From the basically they are not kings. They are chieftains, but afterwards they become the king. So these kingdoms are called tributary kingdoms. Followed? Yes. See children, among these Nayakas, some kingdoms are tributary kingdoms only they are called. They are very important to them. They are having the remarkable contribution in the Karnataka history. That one, Kaladi Nayakas. Shivappa Nayaka, then Chitradurga Nayakas, Madikari Nayaka, Surpur Nayaka, Venkatapa Nayaka, then Yalahanka, Nada Prabhu is their part. Got it? Like this way, these are the famous Nayakas. For our children, so in this lesson we are learning all these Nayakas. Today I will take the Kanadi Nayakas. For our children, see points you have to take down children, then only we understand the Yes sir, now I'll write the Kaladi Nayakas, some important points, okay? Yes, see children, today we we'll learn only about the Kaladi Nayakas. This Kaladi is a very large and prosper kingdom children in the Karnataka history. Huh? So, very large one it is and uh, contribution of the Kaladi Nayakas also very great in the Karnataka history. And here when the Tapa 
Kathanayaka. He is the very famous king among the Kathanayakas. He is the Kathanayaka and one more, sorry, uh, Shuvapanayaka. These two are very important persons, uh, famous kings from the Nayakas of Kathanayaka. What do you think? See children, all the points I can't write. It is a small board and a very small handwriting I am writing children. Usually you know I also have in the habit of writing big letters but I can't write here. I hope you understand the handwriting also. And uh, all the points I can't write children. I will explain every point. If you want, once or twice you uh, hear the video on. Okay children, all are doing any adjustment. You please cooperate for this. Okay. Hiriya Venkatapra Nayaka, I said he is a very famous one. Why he is a famous? See children, soon after 1565, when Vijayanagar collapsed, that time kings, they separated from the Vijayanagar kingdom and they declared themselves as a kings, these Nayakas. But even though some areas or some Nayakas are still there under the control of the uh, Aravidu kings, Vijayanagar kings only. What did they? So, during the Hiriya Venkatapa Nayaka's rule, this Kaladi kingdom became completely independent. They separated completely from the Vijayanagar kings. These Kaladi kings, they ruled nearly 200 years uh, children. That one, here I mentioned here, 1499 to 1763 century. Hold on. See, and this Hiriya Venkatapa Nayaka, is a famous why means during his rule only this Kerali uh, become independent. Then he started extending his kingdom. He started the military expedition up to river Chandragiri. So what it is? Up to there he extended the kingdom. Then he taken the help of the Ulla Ulla Abakarani. Do you remember her story, Chinna? Once I told in the class. Ullar Abakarani huh? from Ullar series and Portuguese were the enemies for her. She helped the Hiriya Venkatapa Nayaka with the help of that uh, Ullar Abakarani, he defeated the Portuguese and he also defeated the Vijayanagar Adil Shahis. Adil Shahis also very big one, very kingdom it is. He defeated them also as he extended the kingdom. He defeated the two powerful people, Portuguese and Adil Shahis. He wanted to celebrate that uh, victory. So, in the Hangul, in the Hangul, he built the victory pillar to celebrate his uh, uh, achievements. He built the victory pillar in Hangul. And he is a very kind person and most favorable to all the subjects. He is tolerating the all the religions, either Hindu, Muslim, Christian, whatever they are, he was tolerating the all the religions. Follow children about the Hiriya Venkatapa Nayaka. Okay, next I will write about the Shivappa Nayaka. He is the most famous in the Kerala. Okay. Yes. One more famous king from the Kerali dynasty is Shivappa Nayaka. He ruled from 1645 to 1660 century. See children, this uh, Shivappa Nayaka, he taken the coastal area. South part of the coastal area he covered. He taken the Port uh, Portuguese uh, ruling part also from the coastal area. And uh, he built the forts in Mangaluru. And Chandragiri. There he built the fort. Has he taken the coastal part? This is the south part of India. Here, coastal area is there, children. Towards this west. Yes, no? So, he got the title as a Padubada Lodaya. Karana title it is. He got the title as a Padubada Lodaya. What is the meaning of this one? See, children, uh, in the English, what directions we are telling? West, East, South. And North we are saying, you know, in Canada, this is Padugana, this is Moodana, Tenkana, then Badagana, like this Canada directions are there. Huh? Padagana, Badagana, 
ten paduana, moodana, like this. Moodana means where the sun will rise. The sun set no, that is for paduana. For so as he covered the west part, paduana, that part he conquered. He became the owner of that west. Got it? That is the meaning of this title. Padugana, West, Vadeya means owner, lord of that world. So, Padugada Rodeya, followed that title he got. And, see children, he also worked for the development of the people. He was very much concerned about the people. Many pro people development programs he undertaken. And, he encouraged the Christian traders. If any Christian from the world, for his party covered, no? Their for Christians were there. He encouraged them to the kingdom. If you want to make the trade in our kingdom, he welcomed them. And this Portuguese people are expert in the agriculture. So he invited the Portuguese who are expert in the agriculture. He taken some suggestions from them. And he given the land for them to settle in his kingdom. That much he was tolerating the other religions. For our children. Yes. Then he made for the development of the world, uh, as he invited the Christians in his kingdom, he, Christians, they also need the how we eat, temple, mosque for our prayer, no? Like that, you know, Christians also need. What? Church. Yes, no? So he, he given the land for them to build the church. But he put the condition that that priest who we are the, keeping in the church as a priest, guru, we are keeping, no? That should be local one. Why children? Local people means they will be concerned about their kingdom, their land. That also keeping foreigners means they will start dominating. They will not show any concern to the local people. Yes, no? So he put that condition. He provided the land for the construction of church. But he said that if you want, you can build the church. But the priest should be local person. Followed? And for the development of the uh, kingdom, he made one revenue system children. That is most important one. That uh, system name is called as a shisto. So, this is a revenue system children. Revenue system. See children, this shisto is called as a shivapanayaka shisto. What it is, shisto means? See, as I said, he is very much concerned about the people. He wants the development of the people. He made this revenue system, Shistu. On the, in this system, farmer, from the farmer only they are collecting the tax. But some uh, measurement should be there. How to collect the tax? On what basis we have to collect the tax? So what he made, he started taking the tax on the basis of fertility of the soil as well as the irrigation facility of the soil. So he considered first whether this farmer is having irrigation facility, fertile soil is having or not. All by seeing this one, he used to fix the tax. Then only it will be not burden for the farmers. Yes, no children. See, see simply 10%, 20% commonly are collecting the tax means it is burden for the farmers. All will be not able to pay the tax. Some are having irrigation facility. They are able to pay more than 10%. Some are having dry land, less fertile land. They are not ready to pay even 10% also. So common percentage of these things is heavy for the farmers. So considering all this point, what he made on the basis of fertility and the irrigation facility, he started collecting the tax. For our children, usually what he used to do, one third of the tax he used to collect. One third of the produce. How one third? See, if farmer grown the three bags of rice means one bag he has to give for the kingdom as a tax. Like that way, he used to collect the tax. And this system was very popular. All the farmers accepted this one. It will be not burden for them. According to their fertility, according to their irrigation facility, they are giving. So it will be not burden for them. So they collected the tax. Lot of tax from the farmers, enough tax now from the farmer, and people also happy because of this one only. This is Shivappa Nayaka become very popular, and the kingdom is also prospered during Shivappa.
work for Naraka's time. Because people are happy means kingdom will prosper children. You are making work among the people means they will be not happy, they will be not concerned to the work. Yes, no? So, because of this, this proof, Shivapanayaka not only become popular, he developed the kingdom also. So, Kaladi Nayaka is to become very popular. For what? Yes, some more points I'll write on this. Shivapanayaka. Yes, next comes Queen Chanamaji. Who is she? Not the Tudani Chanamaji, but don't get confusion. This Chanamaji, she is the uh, daughter in law of Shivappa Nayaka. What did you learn? Shivappa Nayaka. She is also having remarkable place in the Kerala history children because she is known for the well and sacrifice. She is a very pious lady and very uh, brave also children. She is very brave enough to fight the war. What she made, she is known for that and only. Maybe you are having in Karana one lesson children about the Chhatrapati Shivaji's son. Do you remember? Raja Ram, Shivaji's son. See children, what she made? She given the shelter for the Shivaji's king, Raja Ram. Mughals were ruling in the North India. And they want to capture the Shivaji's son, Raja Ram. But this Queen Chanama given the shelter for him. Giving shelter to the enemies. Enemy means it is very dangerous on children. They will attack you. Yes or no? Even though she given. But in Indian culture or Indian mythology, we are having one mythology children. Who are, if anyone comes for, for the shelter means we must provide them shelter. That is our mythology. So she is a very pious lady I said. She given the shelter for the Raja Ram. But Mughal came to know about the, the Rani Chanama where she given the shelter for the Raja Ram. She, they attacked on her. Bravely she faced the problem of uh, attack of the Mughals. The Mughal army was very big one. Even though she is lady, she is quite a brave children, she faced that um, attack of the Mughals. Followed. See children, what she made before the Mughal enemy entered her kingdom, she left the wild elephant on the Mughal's army. Elephants attack me, you understand no? how horrible it is. So, to save their life, Mughal army ran away from the Chanamas territory. Okay, children. Like this way, she protected her capital and given shelter for the Raja Ram. Followed? Yes. Next comes, see children, this Abhata Rani, she had uh, faced the problem of Mysore army also. Mysore army also, she, once they attacked her, she faced the, that problem also. As I said, Poyas Lady. Poyas Lady means religious one. As Shivapanayaka given shelter for the, her father-in-law, Shivapanayaka means. He given the shelter for the Christian and same way she also given protection for the Christian people. Some traders were there, agriculture experts were there. She given the shelter for them and she protected the land for the building the church also. That meant she was kind with the other religious people also children. This is all about the Queen Chanama. Followed and See children, this Kerala was a very large and prosperous kingdom I said no. This place is mainly Shivamogga children. Shivappa Nayaka statue is there in Shivamogga. And some other places we are having the uh, temples, Agrahas, temples, means Hindu temples are there. Then Agoreshwara temple in Ikri is the famous one. Then Agrahas are there, education centers there, Matas are there. Many matas also they build. Matas especially they are education centers. They are giving boarding for the students there. Free boarding children. Children freely they can stay in the matas and they, they are used to provide the education for them. Like this way they are doing the welfare to work for the people. For what? The kingdom was very big one I said no. So I read out the name of the places which the Kerala kingdom was covered. 
that is Shivamogga, Dakshina Karana, Udupi, Kasurgodo. It is in Kerala now today. Then Kodagu, Asana, Tumukuru, Chitradurga, Darwar and Uttarakhanda. These all places comes under the Nayakas of Kerala. This much big kingdom it was and very much rich it is. First part means rich one. Follow children? Yes. See, I explained about the Kerala Nayakas. Before that one, who these nine cards are extended? Then, uh, Kerala nine cards are started. This Kerala nine cards is the large kingdom, prospered one also. And in that, Kiriya Venkatapa nine cards is a famous one. Next, Shivapa nine cards is very famous. Next, Shistu. What is Shistu? I explained that one. Next, Shivapa nine cards daughter in law, Queen uh, Chenna Maji. About her, I explained. Here are all I wrote on the board today. You can see that one. Okay. I hope you understood about the Kelvin Nayakas. About the one one kingdom, I will take in a one class children. Today I taken Kelvin. Next I will take to the Chitra Durga. See children, Kelvin, Ashoka Nayakas statues and their temples were in three Agarishwa temple and also there children. That one I will stick to this video on that photos. You watch it. Okay. For today's session, you have to take the homework. Yes, children, simple four questions are given. That is, where, what is Shisku? What is Shisku? Just like that, you have to write that one. Who got the title Padubada Nadeya? Okay, children, that you have to write. Then, who is Rani Chandamachi? That you have to write. Where is Chiyokpa Nayaka statue situated? Just I have to So, you have to write these four questions. In the next class, I will take Nayakas of Chitra Durga. That also very interesting one, children. Lot of story related there. So, waiting for that video now? Yes? Okay, children? Okay, thank you for today.